The Lord's teachings are for eternity and for all of God's children. Here's one of our Savior's teachings, probably well known, but rarely practiced, rarely practiced. Ye have heard that it hath been said, thou shalt love thy neighbor and hate thine enemy. But I say unto you, love your enemies, bless them that curse you, do good to them that hate you, and pray for them which despitefully use you and persecute you. What revolutionary teachings for personal and political relationships. But that is still what our Savior commands. But that is still what our Savior commands. In the Book of Mormon, we read, For verily, verily, I say unto you, he that hath the spirit of contention is not of me, but is of the devil, who is the father of contention. And he stirreth up the hearts of men to contend with anger, one with another. Loving our enemies and our adversaries is not easy. Most of us have not reached that stage of love and forgiveness, President Hinckley observed, adding, it requires a self-discipline almost greater than we are capable of. But it must be essential, for it is part of the Savior's two great commandments, to love the Lord thy God and to love thy neighbor as thyself. And it must be possible, for he also taught, ask and it shall be given you, seek and ye shall find. 